all colour film was made by members of Canterbury Cine Society, which was founded in 1934, largely through the work put in by Leslie Goulden, who owned a bookshop in Canterbury. And most of the filmmakers were quite well-to-do folks, many of them proprietors of shops or owners of Canterbury firms. Only people really like that could afford to make colour film in those days. I know this is the fact that people, when they got these cameras and started filming, they often didn't film in their own towns, particularly if they were filming in colour. They said they waited until something special happened, like the summer holiday, when we're going to Margate or Eastbourne or something, and then they took colour film. But their own streets, no. Often they didn't take them at all. We were very fortunate that in Canterbury there was a group who got together and worked on projects like this. For, um, it didn't last very long, of course they closed in the, uh, the outbreak of war. <laughs>